hello guys welcome or welcome back to this channel how are you good morning good night good evening good afternoon from any part of the world you're watching me from it's your girl here i am Raquel blessed and i appreciate all of you for working with me since day one if you're tuning in right now it's your first time welcome to this channel so guys today i have a different kind of content we are going to talk about boy child the reason why i chose this topic is because uh, looking around you can see what is happening nowadays it's as if we are forgetting the boy child they are really struggling and we are just increasing or lifting up the girl child so i don't know if you're going to agree with me whatever i'm going to say and but i also respect your views your opinions we shall engage in the comment section direct to today's topic but um i'm not happy guys i'm not happy because these men are our brothers they are our sons we need to appreciate them whatever they do but nowadays we have turned them into vessels like we are using them for our own benefit especially ladies i'm speaking about ladies um uh, whatever is happening in the world boy child is like being told you need to put more effort you need to pull up your socks is we don't know we don't care whatever you'll do but us we just want to see results okay they usually say man is to effort we agree on that but now guys uh it reach a time you need to put a limit let us not like agree on something that you see at the end of it or we are going to put pressure on someone to make life decisions they will regret later in life because at times it's like we are pushing them so hard and they, they are left with no option that's why you find most of my men turn out to be thieves some even just go and make bad life decisions choose wrong partners just because of this peer pressure so boy child at least today i'm on your side i'm going to uh to, to talk on that and i'm going i think to be on your side so uh for ladies i think what we should do uh, you choose someone who whom you think you are going to tolerate that is a that is my point choose someone who you are going to tolerate and for the men if you want to enter into a relationship choose someone who understand that not every time is normal yeah like uh, choose someone who understands sometimes things go south sometimes things are not normal because if you have an understanding partner they are going to tolerate and they are not going to disturb you when there are some life issues that comes up because this life it's ups and downs and you never know what tomorrow might bring there are sometimes you just wake up there are some difficult or dangerous situation as a man or as the woman in the house you need to take charge and uh, you you discuss on the way forward the solution but if you chose someone who doesn't understand you you see there will be a bit problem also ladies uh, don't make it difficult for your man the man you chose you found them how they were you knew their situation you decided that this is a man i want to be with it doesn't matter if you are in relationship or you are already in marriage the thing is don't give your man hard time and don't let social media lie to you that uh, life is another way whatever you you your man gives you whatever effort he makes can you find it a little bit appreciating can you appreciate your man let us leave alone that norm that the man is the one to do everything for you even you if you want a lot also do a lot because actually um you find that these men they use blood like us they don't use petrol that's something that you can say they can go an extra mile the same energy they have like the anatomy of the body it's only the private parts and some one two three things that are very different from us ladies but when you consider the other part whatever they are using we also have them they have hands they have legs they have head like we do the only thing that differentiate men from women is some physical features like uh, private parts things like that the beards you know but now you come to find that if it is blood they also have blood circulation still going on 
the same way it's happened in their body, the same way it's happened to our body. But now, uh, you find that we are giving them much pressure such that I feel that we should not be doing such. Boy child is drowning. Boy child is losing it. We are not, we are not supporting them. And uh, this life, as much as also lady, we are facing a lot of challenges. We are vulnerable. But also men are having it rough in this world. They are having it rough. And I, I think it's high time if you are in a relationship you have a man, try to appreciate this man. Don't see your man as an ATM, like a doorway to pass through to your success. Uh, try to appreciate your man, you know, a little gra gratitude, if he does something. You can even surprise him, not every time he surprises you. You can attest with me, ladies, if you are an independent lady, and uh, you know how getting money is a hard task at times, uh, you're not going to let your man or you're not going to turn your man into money-making machine like he does for you everything because you know how what it means to get that money. You know what it means to put effort so that you get cash at hand. So someone who is independent or already knows the rules to life, how to make it in life, like you need hard work to make uh, it to make money you know money doesn't just come like then you're like it is here there is a process you need to work so that you get money either you work hard with smartness inside then that's when you get money but also you need to find someone who understands warembo please to eleven who may wait to let us understand our men because I can see actually this thing is really becoming like the norm this is not the norm. Actually, it was not meant like that. Yes, man shall toil. And uh, even it's written in the Bible. But uh, even if he shall toil, you need to tolerate him. There are some ladies who just say, um, I cannot stay with a man who is not rich. For you, what are you doing yourself as the lady who says so? So that you make a change in that home or in that relationship. It's not all time to wait on the man. Even if he is rich, he is poor, as long as you chose to stay with this man, can you still tolerate him in his poor, poorness, in his richness? You shall you be there. Because uh, that, that now is real love. Let us stop faking it. Uh, don't let anyone show you that your boyfriend uh, is not doing anything. Actually, you got the best. Okay, let us learn about love. Um, about love, it is building each other, you know. You find someone who you have not grown together, is from different family, you come and unite, and you start your own family. Just take time, understand the person you want to get into a relationship with, and also take time to learn everything about their character, such that when you enter into a marriage, you are good to go. Let us change the narrative, let us see uh, place where boy child is appreciated, there is lack of divorce, there is a uh, respect when it comes to home, uh, a home thing like respect your men because what, whatever keeps men it's respect and if you focus on your relationship, the two of you, do you think there is anything you can lose if now you come together, you have decided to leave everything, it's two of you you start to focus. You know, focus is when you want to make it happen and you are uh, heading forward toward the same direction and you understand one another. If you focus on your relationship, you are going to make it happen. Don't let anyone influence you in any way. And every relationship has its own unique way. It's ups and downs. It's just you to come together and work on it. So. If your man has been doing it all for you, appreciate that man. If he has not been doing for you or is still putting effort to make ends meet, still appreciate that man. Don't let the media influence you into showing you uh, the other world, which does not exist actually, which does not exist. Yeah, so guys, someone also will ask, 
uh, there are some man I cannot stay with the poor man because when he finds man, he'll just leave me to go live with other ladies. Then actually, that's not your man. If that happens, that was never, never meant to be. That relationship was never meant to be, so you need to cut off, start a relationship with her. But for now, boy child, you need to, we need to support boy child because they are really struggling a lot. We have forgotten about them. They are drowning, so I'm calling upon you, ladies, all people who are viewing or listening me, let us remember boy child. In everything we do, let us involve them. In any, in any project we have for girl child, let us also remember the boy child. They are also human beings like us, isn't it? Yeah, guys, so that's the information I wanted to pass for boy child. And I hope we are going to look upon, uh, look unto it and change the narrative. Boy child, at least you have a support here. Okay? Salute, you're doing great.